So you guys, um, I want to talk to you today about something that the Lord's put on my heart, that Jesus has said to me, um, about loving other people, about how we just mess things up a lot of the times, guys. We just do. We just get in the way. <laughs> really. I mean, honestly, we desire to be, to be seen. Um, we desire to be recognized by other people in ministry. Um, cameras, phones, YouTube has really distorted the view of what ministry is all about. And it's quite ironic. I'm using a camera right now. And this video will go on YouTube, which you will watch on your phone, right? It's a blessing, but it also can be a detriment to your motive. Those of you who love Jesus, those of you who want to promote the gospel, those of you who want to share what God has said to you, and there's nothing wrong with that. But Paul says this in Philippians 2, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each of you esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. You don't have to be a Christian to know that it's right to love people. But the gauge that you must use in order to recognize, okay, whether this is for God or for myself, is whether or not you are doing this out of selfish ambition or conceit, or you truly desire to see people changed. Me, myself, and I, I can mess it up. I can go out and do school, do videos, do music, do ministry, evangelism, discipleship, and I can get in the way. I can work so hard on reading a book and learning and then going and teaching and then na 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 but I forget why I started to do this in the beginning. When I sit down across from another person and I'm there with another human being who is going through troubles or not going through troubles or just having a conversation, am I understanding that God put me on this earth to lift that person up in confidence? in kindness, by me being humble and taking the time out of my day to live for that person in that moment. Because so many times, you guys, we can make it about everything but that. Imagine if you lived a life for others. Your whole life and all of your thoughts we're set on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God, right? And those things are his attributes, the Kyle that will be revealed when Christ is revealed. John says in 1 John 3, we don't know what we will be in that moment that Jesus comes back and we go to heaven. We don't know exactly what we'll be, but this we do know, that we will be like him for we shall see him as he truly is. Those of us who, he says, those of us who have that hope purify ourselves now just as he is pure. And when we do that by seeking Jesus, having and honoring our alliance with Jesus, we receive love from him. We receive him and then he lives through us. He said, follow me. Whoever serves me, there my servant will be also. So whoever serves Jesus, wherever Jesus goes, you go too. And Jesus lives in you. Those of you who have been born again, who have experienced a 180 degree turn in mind and heart towards the way you view God. Indeed, not only a change, but a total change substitution of a new nature in you you're not the same person anymore literally like you're totally changed it happened to me it's pretty cool i pray that you have that as well 
and now. No longer do you live for yourself, but you live for others. Those of us, those of us, though, the book, those of us who love Jesus, no. those of us who love Jesus can twist it as well. And we work on things hard to get them done, right? But we forget, why am I doing this? It's to see people changed. I must die for them to live. And it's not easy, folks. Loving is hard. Why? Because the love of God is not about a feeling. It's about a conscience. And the best way to love other people is to die for them by taking time out of your day, using your own mental faculties, laboring to help them in conversation, building them up with words, giving them a ride when they need it, using your own resources, opening the doors of your house if they need a place to lay their head, making disciples. I would not be where I am right now unless I had been properly led by discipleship through my pastor, and I would not be where I am right now without discipling other people. I have received in one year by receiving and doing discipleship what I would receive in 10 years, if that, if I even get it, without discipleship. And those of you in church, um, I challenge you to obey God, Obey the word by making disciples. They are not your disciples. They are the disciple of Jesus. But you are there as a servant of God to help them grow in their life by changing their dirty diapers, by calling them out, holding them accountable, checking in with them every day. Have you done your secret place? Because especially us in America, we love to just get on with our day and do what we got to do, get work done. But when is the last time you really labored a whole week in your mind, heart, and feelings and, 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 and actions to live for other people? Family is one of the most difficult things. <laughs> because family, we're close. We're really close. And, and I ask you guys to pray for me on that because I don't love my family perfect and I won't love them perfect and I don't love them enough in my actions. It's not all about, oh, getting emotional, shedding a tear and then sending them a text telling them that you love them. No, it's about a way of life. This is worship to God. Worship is manifesting Holy Spirit where you go. Worship is a is a posture of heart that seeks to obey the will of God. Because when you do that, you show him, I am your son, I am your daughter. Living for others is living indeed. A lot of people um, might say, oh, I love other people by spreading good energy or uh, helping them in their physical exercise or whatever. Yeah, Paul says physical bodily exercise is of some value, but godly progress in life is of much more. Don't make it about you, my brothers and sisters. Make it about other people and esteeming them more, better than yourself. Pray for me to do this. Pray for me to do this. I love you guys, and I pray that some of you may, may hit me up, send, you know, send a comment, send a text, say, how are you? Because it's a, why, would I, why else would I make these videos? So I pray for you now, in Jesus' name, that you first may receive the Holy Spirit if you haven't. Be born again, repent, change your mindset because you've been living in your own plan and purpose separated from God and that you would get exclusive dependence on Jesus because he's the only way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to God except through him. 
and receive his nature, receive freedom because he died and rose again for you. He paid your debt for every time you thought, you felt, and you did anything outside of God's plan and purpose. That is the gospel. Jesus is alive, and he wants to know you, and he wants you to know him. Amen?